Hello dear researchers, I hope you are doing great. In this tutorial we are going to see how to create a Likert scale questionnaire using uh, Google or rather uh, Microsoft Office documents or even Google documents. So uh, I'm using here Microsoft Office. So first of all this is the title of the questionnaire. This is like a brief description of the questionnaire and this first section is devoted to background information or rather demographic or sociodemographic data and we ask let's say uh, about the gender of the respondents their age uh, their area their educational level their years of experience etc and so age or gender here we have it as a categorical variable in which respondents have to check which gender or to which gender they belong then age is a continuous variable so respondents need to state their age and some people or researchers want to include age also in terms of categories but i prefer to include it in terms of numbers like this so that it forms a continuous variable after that we have uh, so here age forms a continuous variable so that if i want to do correlation tests i can do that you see so this is why i personally prefer age to be a continuous variable an open-ended question not close-ended question with options i don't like that in that case it will be uh, so it will give us less information about the exact age of the respondents you see what i mean so please try to put age as follows not as categories all right so uh, here in the area we have experience we can include many things sometimes this section is put at the end but sometimes it's placed uh, here at the beginning so the, sec the second section is devoted to the lacquered scale items and i have this nice table that uh, represents lacquered scale so you can put here the items or when they're the titles of each items if you have one section lacquered scale you can uh, delete those items and increase the number of uh, this or just merge this uh, uh, you know cells like this so anyway uh, then we have the note on the coding of Likert scale like one strongly disagree uh, two disagree three neutral four agree and five strongly agree as you can see so this should be coded this way because we want it to get from uh, or to, to start from the minimum as strongly disagree to the maximum as strongly agree and here this is an open-ended question just concerning the remarks and this is like a closing uh, remark for respondents you can add your email but if you are using uh, in-person data collection but normally i use uh, google forms or qualtrics or any other uh, platforms to collect data online so you don't need this uh, but anyway i think this is all concerning the questionnaire i said this section can be swapped and be put at uh, let's say at this place and we start with directly with the items here so this is how we can uh, design a likert scale we can even uh, let's say control the number of categories whether it's five point six point four point four slacker scale nine point or seven point lacquered scale so we can change these uh, numbers and that's it respondents can take the right category and even in the analysis we can get it like this so you can see the analysis so these are the statements these are the tables just visually these are the codes strongly disagree in uh, this color and strongly agree in this color and agree orange you see so the majority of the respondents agree to strongly agree with all items of the scale and you can get here the frequencies so the frequencies of each item and or even the percentages so that's why we included them so this is how we can go about uh, creating Likert scale because we should keep in mind how we analyze Likert scale in later stages so we should also pilot test the Likert scale on a small size sample uh, then we can test its reliability its uh, convergent and divergent uh, validity and then we can distribute it to other respondents and get final results all right so this is how we go about uh, doing the analysis and then we can run other tests like 
uh, let's say independent samples t test one way analysis of variance uh, principal components analysis among other types or even the regression analysis be it logistic or binary or uh, multiple regression all right so this is how we go about Likert scale design if you have questions or remarks do not hesitate to post them below or contact me via one of my social media and see you in another tutorial bye for now